Welcome, Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where we dive into current events, answer those burning vampire questions, and give life advice from the undead perspective. Yes, after a forced hiatus, I am back. May 21st. And the headline that grabbed my attention. Prince Harry accuses royal family of total neglect and bullying. Okay, who gives a shit? Obviously, people do, and the ratings are good whenever the royal family shows up. But, really, we live in the United States. We don't have to care about the royals. Stop making them news. Now, I personally am for anything that paints the royal family in a bad light. I'm for. Completely. However, I'm also for just leaving them alone. We don't have to be part of that system. So we don't have to acknowledge it. And we don't have to give them more fame. At all. Let them go, let them be. Any news media indicates that the royal family is full of neglect, and all families have bullying. So boo frickety hoo to Prince Harry. Get over it. Console yourself with all your money and the fact that everything you do is considered so groundbreaking and move on with your life. Just don't make it news anymore. Today's vampire question. What if I decide to become a vampire? Is that even possible? Is there an application process or is it just luck? of the draw. I really wouldn't call it lucky to become a vampire. However, it is fairly random. First of all, a vampire needs to be given the right to create their own lineage. Not all vampires are given this right. And if you decide to go renegade on this, it is one of those rules that is strictly enforced, meaning by death, of the person doing the siring and those sired. Then you have to be chosen by the vampire that has been that has been given these rights. You can, of course, approach them if you've done your research. However, how would you do that? The odds are only probably 15 to 20 percent that you would actually become a vampire and not just tonight's meal. Don't go for it. Sure, you have more power and you have that amoral where you don't care. However, it's not really you. It's the demon wearing your body. Just live your life and to be who you are. That would be the process I would suggest. And today's life advice comes from Yahoo Answers, so is completely anonymous. If a woman doesn't work, why should she expect her working husband to come home and cook and clean? Well, maybe she's a selfish bent. Maybe he's a spineless sack of shit. 
maybe she should get a clue and do some work. Maybe he should grow a set and demand that she pull her weight. Who knows why people do the stupid shit that they do, except that they can get away with it. Other than that, who knows why anyone does anything. But if you don't like it, then change it. It may be uncomfortable. It may cause problems in the short term. But it will get rid of the long-term problems if you fix and change things. This has been Ask McCorkle. If you would like your vampire questions answered or you would like some life advice, comment below and I will get to them. Like, share, and subscribe. Make me go viral. Check out the links in the description, especially the Amazon links, which will take you to an author page where my books are listed. The two that I have written, the anti-guru books, and the book that is about me, The Hunter Vampire. Buy them, read them, love them, and I'll talk to you again later.